Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sister Salon and Spa. We are so excited to have you join us. But the first thing I want to do is just thank everyone. Thank all of our clients and our supporters, our friends and family. You know, this month makes six months, six months that we have opened the doors of Sister Salon and Spa. We are so excited. We really are. And again, thank you all you guys for supporting us. So today, what I wanted to do was introduce you to our newest addition to our team, Selena Washburn. Hello. Oh, Selena, we're so excited to have you here with us. And we wanted to give you guys a chance, the opportunity to meet our newest addition, and she is our masseuse, our massage masseuse. Because you know here at Sister Salon and Spa, we're a full service salon. From full service hair to nails, manicures and pedicures to massage services, full skin care and makeup. It, this is the hot place to be in the Poconos, absolutely. So first, I'd like to, again, introduce you to Selena, and I want you to get to know her, and you're welcome to send some questions in if you like. We'd love to have that. So first of all, Selena, tell us a little bit about your background, who you are, where you're from. Oh, hello. My name is Selena Washburn. I am originally from New York, but I've been in the Poconos for about 17 years now. I am... Like I said, I'm originally from New York. I've been in the Poconos for 17 years. I've been massaging for about 15 years in the area, in Stroudsburg, East Stroudsburg, down in um, Milford. Okay, okay. So where are you originally in New York? Oh, I'm originally from Queens. Oh, from Queens. Shout out to Queens. <laughs> Shout out to Queens. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. So now, also, I want to ask you, what are the requirements to become a massage therapist in the state of Pennsylvania? Well, you do need to be licensed to be a massage therapist. Okay. You need 600 hours of schooling, okay. and then you need to sit for the license. Okay, okay, that sounds pretty intense. And as you mentioned, you do have to have a license. You have a license. I do have a license. Absolutely. That's very, very important when you're selecting a masseuse. You want to make sure that they are licensed and they have all the necessary education as well. Now, let me ask you, do you take insurance, health insurance? No, at this time, I'm not taking okay. health insurance. Okay. That, that's something I'll be working on in the future. Okay. Wow. Well, so stay tuned for that, guys. So let me ask you also. Um, what is a massage therapy? What, what is that exactly? What can a person expect? Well, massage therapy is the rubbing of muscles. It's okay. the kneading of muscles. It's um, oil is sometimes used with it. Okay. You can also do the massages clothes. Okay. But massage therapy is the kneading of muscles, the moving of the circulation to relieve pain, to relieve stress. Okay, okay. Now, is it just only just the back and neck and shoulders? Because when we think of massages, that's what normally comes to your mind. Well, you can have those treatments focused on that, but mm -hmm. you can have a full body massage, okay. head, face, oh. toes, feet. Okay, yes. okay. Reflexology is the kind of treatment that when you can get a half an hour done just on your feet. Oh, oh, that sounds great, especially for us commuters. That's really important because we sit on the bus for hours mm -hmm. and the circulation really, that's important. Yes. So that would be great for our commuters. So guys, definitely come and check that out for sure. And with the half hour treatments, a half hour treatment that I can get, right. we can focus on those areas that commuters most have problems with. And a lot of that is low back pain. Yes. It's foot pain. It's just the stress of sitting up in that chair for that long. Okay. So we could focus treatments to that specifically. Wow. That's great to know. Great to know. So what about if I'm experiencing pain? How would you address that? If you're experiencing pain and you're coming to get relief for the pain, mm -hmm. well, first I would ask you what, um, what kind of activities you're doing in that area that would cause the pain. Okay. For instance, people who are experiencing um, pain in their elbows, a lot of people are experiencing pain in their wrists and their elbows these days yeah. from typing, from texting. Okay. So um, if you're experiencing pain, you'd let me know what that area is. I'd ask you what it is that you normally do in that area. Okay. And okay. 
So now, do you do it like an intake form? Because you said you asked them these questions. Is there a form that you use to assess the, the client? Yes, there is an intake form that I ask people to do before we actually get into them. Okay. It's generally asking your medical history, if you've had a massage before, mm -hmm. if um, or what you're expecting from the massage as okay. well. Because some people are only looking for relaxation out of the massage. They're not looking for um, a therapeutic massage. They're oh, looking okay. just to be calm, to be relaxed. Okay, just to reduce that, reduce, I should say, the tension, mm -hmm. maybe. It could be a stress reliever. Absolutely. Okay, so not only can it address the medical benefits of it, but also maybe the psychological or the emotional benefit of it as well. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Absolutely. There's okay. a mind-body connection where people, um, through receiving the massage and getting the relaxation in their body, they're actually able to let go of the emotions. Wow. So it's wonderful for stress relief. Okay. Wonderful for stress relief. Okay. And that brings down conditions like high blood pressure. Oh. So um, it can help bring things like that under control. People who have migraines, stress is also a trigger for migraines. Okay. So massage can help reduce the number of migraines. And massage can actually address migraines directly. I see. Well, that is some great benefits. That's good to know. I had no idea. Thank you for that. Also, I wanted to know, what about if you're a newbie? What should be your first massage? Your first massage should be a relaxing massage, just okay. so you get used to having someone's hands on you. Because okay. it is a different experience. Okay. You know, having someone that you don't know okay. coming to put their hands on you. So okay. get a nice relaxing massage, <laughs> nice soothing music. Okay. You get to experience what that's like. And then you can come in and get sample all the other kind of experiences. That we have. Okay. But a lot of people who are coming in for like a therapeutic massage, they know they want to feel better. Right. <laughs> well, that's the whole idea, mm -hmm. right? They want to walk out feeling better than when they came in. Absolutely. Yes, of course, of course. So let me ask this. Um, what if I'm self-conscious about my body or certain areas of my body? What should I be concerned about? Or how can you help me be more a little relaxed? You shouldn't be concerned. Okay. You are draped. I am very communicative throughout the massage if there is anything that you do not like you get to you get to tell me right away oh but if you are um if you are self-conscious about a certain area of your body i can make sure that i cover you cover that area completely okay. i will avoid it i will do everything i can to make you comfortable oh i that's great i appreciate that now this is a, might sound like an interesting question but can i talk during the massage or is it should i be completely quiet no, and no. meditate and <laughs> Everyone approaches the massage at their own, in their own way. Okay. If you are a chocolate person, feel free to talk through the massage. If a question occurs to you during okay. the massage, you can ask it. It is your massage. You can speak freely. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, what can I expect after the massage? How soon I will see or feel results? Well, some people feel relief right away. Okay. Well, actually, most people feel relief right away. Right. But it also depends on the severity of the condition. Okay. If it's um, if it's an issue you've been dealing with for a long time, mm -hmm. you might feel relief right after the massage. Right. Might last for twenty four, maybe seventy eight hours. Okay. And then you might need to come back. But it depends on how long. Okay. You've been with the condition. Okay. So then that uh, that leads to a question: and how many? How many days should I wait in between massage se uh, sessions with you? Um, you do not have to wait very long. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can actually have a massage the next day. Oh, really? It's, okay. it's not like you can have too much massage. And oh. um, as I said, the massages can be done on different areas of the body. So if okay. you came in one day for a low back issue and you wanted to come back the next day for a full body, that is perfectly reasonable. Oh, okay. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So now what if I hurt my back doing something that I normally don't do? Is is this something you could fix if I strain my back or something? Well, a strain I can't fix. Okay. I can make you feel better. Okay. I can if it's something that was done um, that you don't normally do. Okay. Um we'll have to see how that goes. Normally one day can take care of it. Mm -hmm. But if it's um, something that, like you were jumping up for the basket and you <laughs> haven't stretched right. in a couple right. of years, you know, it might take 
more than one visit. Okay, okay. Well, this has been great, but I'm, I'm going to ask you kind of two other important questions as well. Mm -hmm. Kind of not really directly have to do with the massage itself, but just a general question. What about tipping? Do you accept tips? I do accept tips. Okay. okay. Um, it is, you do not have to feel embarrassed about that at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. And um, how do we schedule an appointment with you? You would schedule the appointment by calling the salon. Okay. Or you can go online to our website. Okay. And you can see what times are available and you can schedule a massage. Okay. So definitely visit our website. We're going to post everything uh, right on our website so that you can um, schedule your appointment with us. So tell us, Selena, what kind of massages can they look forward to? You can look forward to the sweetest massage. This is a massage that everybody is familiar yeah. with. It's the nice long strokes, very relaxing. Okay. I also do deep tissue massage, which is a more rigorous massage. It's more for athletes or people who um, do a lot of activities. Okay. Or who just like to have a deeper pressure. That is a preference kind of thing. I also do um, acupressure massage. Okay. I do um, zero balance massage. Now this is a, a treatment that you can get that is completely closed. Oh, okay. Um, I do hot stone massage. That is something that people love, especially yeah. in this weather. Right. Like this um, it, it warms you to the core. It's not something that is burning. It's okay. not something. It is not. And it shouldn't burn. Right? It shouldn't burn at all. Okay. There should be no injuries or any discomfort at all okay. in massage therapy, okay. other than that little touch you feel like it. Oh, it it hurts so good. That <laughs> thing, but that's something that only lasts a couple of seconds. Okay. But um. So you get hot, you can get hot stone massage, you mm -hmm. can get zero balance, you can get um what about sugar scrubs? Oh, you can get your spa services. Uh, you oh yeah. Scrubs, you can get your sugar scrubs, you okay. can get warm bamboo massage. Wow. Which is a nice alternative to hot stone massage. Well, that sounds like something I wanna try. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about that. Warm bamboo massage. It's a bit like a deep pressure massage where you have Nice, long, deep strokes, you feel that almost, well, it rubs out all of your knots uh, in a nice, steady flow. Okay. Um, the warmth of it helps to relieve the muscles and okay. helps to release the toxins. Wow. It's a very relaxed massage. Well, that sounds exciting. Really, really exciting. You guys have to come out and definitely meet Selena and join us at Sister Salon and Spa. We'd love to have you. Uh, please visit our website, Sister Salon and Spa. And also, you can book right online or you can call us directly. That would be awesome as well. We do have a cancellation policy. And tell us a little bit more about that. The cancellation part on policy is if you cancel within 24 hours of the appointment you will be charged the service okay. but if you cancel within 48 hours you can always reschedule oh okay. and will be applied. okay great well thank you so much right. for this interview thank this has you. been awesome and guys we're looking forward to you joining us at sister salon and spa thank you so much and you guys have a great evening take care good night good night <laughs>